is uh, are all these people who've been banned off of Twitter and so on. They're all still completely free to say whatever they want to say. But uh, YouTube has decided that they're going to kick Alex Jones off. Uh, Spotify decided to kick him off. Uh, all of these other people have decided to yeah. sort of deplatform them from their own private companies, social mm. media platforms. Mm. So what um, is that different? Is that something that's defensible or you know, because there are some people who are now making the argument that these private corporations should be um, forced to allow uh, everybody on their platform and give them that equal opportunity. But that would also go against the free speech of the yeah. corporation. So, so what do you? Where do you stand on it? Is this like a? So this is a very interesting. Com- no, this is a very interesting conversation, and I think if they, if there is a truly private company, it's up to them who they want on their whatever platform. If they want to ban someone, if they want to allow someone. Um, I don't think that they should be forced to do it um, as long as it's with their policies. Now, the, I actually remember watching a conversation with Jordan Peterson, and he was saying the same thing. Like, you believe in the free market, so you can't on one hand say, you know, everyone should be able to speak, but private companies can't make up their own choices. So, and you always complain about how the le- how the Hollywood is mostly left-wing and uh, academic and blah, 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 is, is all left-wing. You right-wing guys who've got so much money and are capitalists, why can't you just make up your own platform? Why can't you just buy one of these companies? Why can't you fight fire with fire? If you're saying that if you really want to protect free speech and all the rest of it, why can't you just play their game but better? And I think yeah, that's Gab. Gab.com did that. No, like okay, Gab, the... okay, that's okay. I that's that's uh, I will I will disagree with both of you here. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries advocating for atheists secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.